Hey y'all, this is Tyler Blake from Exowips again. Uh, I'm still working on my portrait of Tom Cruise so that we can make Tom Cruise a zombie. So I'm just about done getting the main lines in place so we can progress to the zombie part. Um, this will be a several part series because it's going to take some time. Oh yeah, my hair kind of sells it there, doesn't it? Okay, let's see. just realized something was bothering me and I think that was it. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so when you're doing a zombie portrait, what I like to do is use my reference photo and kind of map out where the zombification is going to be. So like what I did with uh, Hillary and Donald was I, I, both of these started out just as portraits and then on, on my reference pictures I said I'm going to take out that part of her face and around the eye and on him I was going to do the, around his mouth here and some neck fat and around this eye and on the cheek. Um, so what, what I, I usually will try to have some balance, like I don't want to have all the zombie damage be on one side of the face. Um, because I, I just think it, you know, it, it just looks more interesting that way. And so, <clears throat> um, I, you know, I usually have something on the mouth and something around one of the eyes. Uh, I'll, I'll show some of the other zombie presidents that I did going back to to 2008, probably on the next one. Uh, <laughs> the John Edwards one was really funny, I have to say. So, um, but anyway, I just have those handy because they're pretty fresh. So I'm going to say on him, and so with zombie portraiture, the trick is that you want to have it look like a zombie, but also still be recognizable as the person. So if you do too much gross zombification on him then it won't really be recognizable anymore so you have to leave enough of the main features intact for people to go oh hey, that's the zombie tom cruise um like caricaturists eh, caricaturists excuse me they'll what they do is they'll take like the person's most prominent features and exaggerate it i i'm not good at caricatures but i i know that that's how they work And so I find with zombie portraiture, it's good to identify, you know, at least a, a couple of the person's, like, really recognizable features, and then you want to save enough of those, and, you know, that, that gives you, that kind of gives you a roadmap for where you can take flesh away and where you need to leave it intact. So, like, I, I, I don't think I've ever done both eyes, because, you know, the eyes are so expressive, and, you know, a lot of people are recognized by like their eyes and the smile so I don't usually do like the entire mouth or both the eyes I'll usually do like one eye and something somewhere else <clears throat> so um let's see I think for him it would be fun to do oh and something else um before I forget where's my book oh Excuse me for one second. Okay. So nowadays, I'm sure you could probably find all of this for free on Google. But when I was in my early 20s and, like, you know, really going hot after art, 
um, before I had to put it on the back burner for a few years, we had what were known as bookstores. And this is before they all had coffee shops attached to them. So um, my wife and I got this a long time ago. This is Cyclopedia Anatomicae by Georgi Feher and illustrated by Andras Zunyogi. I am sure I butchered those, so I apologize. But this has like every... Um, like every bone in the body from like different angles and they'll do, uh, let's see, let me find them. So the, and they, they also do a couple different animals in here, but this was like a, an excellent resource for me just to be able to kind of figure out the way things work. And to, especially for when I started doing zombie drawings, I was like, Hey, you know, now I can see exactly where all the muscles are hooked up. Um, a long time ago, I used, I used to do concept art for a company called Trials of Ascension that was producing, um, or no, it was Shadow Pool Studios, and they were producing a game called Trials of Ascension, which has gone back into development under Chaos Forge now. But um, they had undead races, you know, it's a MMO peg, and so... I, I had to do some undead art for that, and I, you know, as a joke, I did, like, an undead squirrel, and, uh, you know, but this book was what I would always refer to, you know, because they, they have, like, horse anatomy, and I did some undead centaurs and stuff, but anyway, so this, you know, if you don't just want to do the Google thing, um, this is a great book, plus it makes you look like, you know, just really smart when you have it on your coffee table, um, but, and it, this also... You know, I, I mentioned that it shows things from different angles. Um, it gives you the Latin name, so if you... It, it's just kind of nice to be able to say, my obicularis oculi muscle is a little sore today, and throw that into conversation, just to see the look on people's face. So, um, when you're picking out what where you want to pull flesh away, let me get my picture up here then I like to refer to that and, you know, think about what is going to be showing underneath where you're taking skin away. So, um, most of the face is covered up with muscle and cartilage, but you do have, up on the forehead, you have some bone that shows through. I, I usually like to do something in this area so that you have the bone next to muscle, just because I, I just like the way it looks. Um, and then, you know, you have, like, different layers of muscles... The, and just, by the way, if you just want to learn how to do portraiture, this is still a good book because you can see where all these muscles connect and all of these affect your facial expressions in one way or another. Anyway, so I'll think about what I want to show through. Like, there, there are certain muscles that are just pretty neat. Like, you know, these around here just, uh, like, like on the Hillary, you can see... Or I'll, I'll do it on this side. You can see this group right here where that shows through. So anyway, that's the way I work with that. So I'm going to say let's do, I'm going to do the lower portion. Around this eye. 